What up, Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, and we're finally here at the very last update of Chapter 3, Season 2. It's been a pretty crazy season so far, and now I'm going to break down the last update in under 5 minutes. But before that, remember, if you want to improve at Fortnite in time for the next season, then you need to check out ProGuides.com through the link in the description. Our coaches are the best in the business, and they want to help you get better at the game. I mean, you may as well check it out, right? What's the worst that could happen? With that said, on to the update. And as usual, we're going to be covering map changes first. As has been teased throughout the course of the season, the IO are backing up to their nefarious tricks. And they've brought a brand new doomsday machine called the Tower onto the shores of Loot Lake. According to Hypex, this Tower POI might have pulses that enable glider redeploys, low gravity, or increased speed. He also admits that he might be wrong about this, or that the concept may be scrapped, so we'll have to wait and see what happens when the downtime ends. This does mean that there is going to be an event at the end of the season, likely with the face of the Chapter 3 map ending up changed forever. In fact, we may already have a look at what the new Season 3 map might end up looking like from this image. Weird, right? Moving on to the mechanics and other changes. For fans of the no-build mode, get ready to earn some hype, because according to Sheena on Twitter, a no-build competitive playlist is now present in the game files. According to Hypex, the block is in the works once again. If you didn't play in Chapter 1, the block was a location that brought fan-made locations into the game. This time, it is apparently somehow related to Creative 2.0. iFire Monkey has uncovered the future Wild Week challenges. Wild Week 1 will give us sideways weapons. 2 will give us the Railgun and Recon Scanner, and the last Wild Week of the season will give us cheaper bar costs across the map. According to Hypex, the Siege Cannons have in fact changed in competitive. While you can still rotate with them, you can no longer fire the Cannonball to deal damage and destroy builds. Okay, on to the leaked cosmetics. On the outfit side of things, we've got Tectonic Complex, Tony, the Eternal Wanderer, Minjun, the FNCS Champion Seeker, all of the Chapter 2 versions of the defaults, a new version of the Paradigm, and a new version of Jonesy. For the backblings, there's the Fiery Jam, the Alpha Cylinder, the Oliyoop, the Stellar Scanner, and the Targeter's Tally. Next up, Harvesting Tools. There's the Sulfuric Street Shine, the Tactical Geoms, the Inline Impactor, the Dish Destroyer, and the Island Classic. There's only one new glider, the New World Flyer. For the wraps, we've got the Fiery Flow, and then a bunch of FNCS-inspired wraps. That is everything new in this update. While there's no weapon changes or anything like that, we do have one major change to the map, and even an event to look forward to. This season has been pretty intense, with the battle between the IO and the Seven ripping up large areas of the Chapter 3 island. Did you enjoy it? I'll be down in the comments replying to people for a little while, so let us know, and I might reply to your comment. If you enjoyed this 5 minute breakdown, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe. There are a ton of awesome videos on our channel, two of which are on the screen right now. So, go and check them out.